welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded and I apologize for that, but let me just let you guys know, we have been working on nitrous for the vet. Now, we are not a nitrous breathing vet yet, but I promise you it's coming here in the future. Now, I gotta still get headers and I gotta get a tune for this thing and we'll be all ready to go. So, I actually bought a kit and I'll tell you guys a lot more about this as we go through, but just remember, if you want it to be safe and you want to daily drive a nitrous car, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a controller. You're going to need a tune. You're going to need all kinds of little things that's going to help you out. I have been working on all of the little things. And once I get everything sorted out and I get it comfortably daily driven uh, nitrous Corvette, I will let you guys know exactly what you need for a nitrous car. And then I'll be keeping you guys updated on if a nitrous car is actually dailyable. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and show you a little bit on what we have been working on. So as you can tell in the screen before or in the video before that we actually have been working on a kind of like a beta test to be able to mount your iPad in the console. So um, I'm working on, on something so that way you can quickly do it. So that way you don't have to change out your radio if you don't want to, as long as you got Bluetooth on your radio or even have one of those little bitty adapters that you can actually Bluetooth your iPad into that and even keep your stock radio as long as you have one of those little FM transmitter receiver things. So we're actually working on that because I think it's gonna be really good. We're also working on the cup holder that actually sits inside the console. As you can tell, the nitrous can is right there. Um, so with that, we're actually trying to extend it up a little bit more so then that way you can actually utilize that cup holder for future use and then that way you can also take it off if you don't want to use it it's it's really going to be nice and i'm really ready to show you guys that and then we're also working on the mount let me show you guys the other side of this we're actually working on the quick mount system for that cup holder um it's taking a little bit longer than i expected but we're diligently working on it and getting it perfected before we start to sell those again so keep that in mind if you do have a c5 corvette that's what we'll work on it. If you don't have a C5 Corvette and you want to get some merch, you can go over to SteadyVet.com and you'll see all the merch and accessories and whatnot that we have over there. And you can go ahead and check that out. But anyway, back to the video. Let me go ahead and show you guys the install that we have done. So as you can tell, I got the bottle mounted. I got the lines ran. I've got it to where I can actually purge it. I don't have my purge solenoid yet. That is actually just my nitrous solenoid that I'm using to purge the system. So we got the blowdown tube, we have the gauge on the other side there, and then we bought this bracket from Amazon, a little $100. Um, I really love the bracket. It makes it really easy for taking the nitrous bottle out. And then we finally got us a rear car cargo mat. I really like this cargo mat. It really helps the, uh, the aesthetics of the back end because then you don't see the cutouts for the storage. So. That's what we have been doing. I cut a, a hole all the way down for the blowdown tube so that way it vents outside of the car. So that's what we have been working on. I'll show you guys a little bit on the uh, up under the hood here. So I'm very particular and I want everything to look like it's not even there, right? So the only thing that you can see as of right now is the line for the nitrous, but we will actually be changing that out. It's actually not gonna look like that. And I gotta fix my little hood seal here. There we go. But it will actually not even look like that. And it'll be just two small holes that will be placed into here. So then that way you, you barely will be able to even notice it's there unless you just know that they are there. So I'm gonna do that. Then the fuel solenoid is gonna be right up under here. Let me get this off real quick. So here is the fuel solenoid. You can see it's ran right here to the fuel rail. And then we have another line that's gonna be ran to the spacer that's gonna sit there. So very, been very patient on working on this. So then that way I can make sure that it's the way that I want it to be done and look very nice. So. Now you're probably asking, well, where is the nitrous solenoid at? Well, I did something over here that is pretty neat. So I've actually mounted it over to the side there. As you can tell right there, I've actually mounted it. Then I put this battery cover over it. So then that way, no one will know it's there. Now I'm gonna pull this back some more. I just have it like that for now. So that way I can run certain things. 
and then whenever I get done, this actual battery cover will fit all the way up into here. You won't even know that it's a nitrous breathing vent. You'll just know that it's got a tank in the back. So with the hood popped, my goal is, is to make sure as much as possible that it's not visible. I do not want the engine bay to be dirty. So that's what we are working on. So that's why we have been gone for so long. I didn't really see any really good content that I really wanted to make on the Corvette. And so that's why I didn't want to just post anything. You know how we do on this channel. We don't like to just post anything. We like to post you with either updates or informational videos. So if you guys have any comments, please leave them down below on what you think the next video should be about or what questions do you have that I might could answer in the next video. With all that being said, I appreciate you guys for coming out here and watching. And remember, stay steady, fam.